Right, we are now ready to join our motif into our frame and you will see I've prepped the frame. I've done the foundation round and round one. Um, if you want some hints and tips on how to get to this stage, so to make the chain, make sure it doesn't get twisted, all that kind of good stuff, you can go and look at the frame making on Merton Abbey, just a bit further up the playlist, um, because we did quite a lot of it on there. Um, so I'm at the point where I'm ready to just begin round two. All right, so let's work a chain and we will put uh, one double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're gonna start joining. And we're gonna start with the third of that three leaf group at this first right corner. And we're gonna go into the skip stitch at the top. So a stitch that we're familiar with, we've, we work into those all the time. So I'm going through that and I'm going into the next stitch. Going through all of them and completing my double crochet and now that is secure. Right, so we're coming across now. Obviously, follow your pattern, follow your chart, however you prefer. But we're going across seven stitches now, double crocheting those stitches. Four, five, six, and seven. And we're at the point now where we're going to join this little sort of center bit here. We're not doing anything with this chain or this bud but we're doing a little bit up here at the top um, of this of this leaf that we've made and we're going to be working on the furthermost chain of this chain space we made the double crochet at the top of the leaf and the first chain of um, the chain space that we made coming down the other side so those three bits at the top are what we're now going to join one after the other into our frame so I'm going to go through and that's quite tight, that chain. Um, so just make sure you go for the right one. So it's the last, it's the fifth chain of that fifth, five chain group that you're going through. So I'm going through that and through the next stitch on my frame. Then I'm going into the double crochet and into the next stitch on my frame. And just make sure you're not double working stitches on the frame or not um, missing stitches on the frame. Um, you know, just make sure you kind of hop along one each time. And then I'm gonna go into the first of the next chain along and do the same again. And let's just stop and have a look. We've now got two things joined. We've got a lovely a lovely little leaf and this group at the top of this second leaf here. All right, so, so I'm kind of gonna do it in reverse now. So I'm coming along seven at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven and I'm going to make I'm going to get um, the in this case it's the first of the three leaves that we made and I'll again go to that skipped chain at the top of that leaf you can see that sitting there I'll go through that and I'll go through the next stitch on my frame and now that is secure five more stitches across here one two, three, four, and five. And I'm now at the center stitch of the three in the corner. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I am going to um, put two double crochet into this skip stitch at the top of this center leaf and into the middle stitch of the um, frame middle stitch of the, of the corner of the frame at the same time so we do two through there one and two okay i will turn oh look at that we've got a side joined i'll turn we will make um what will we, what will we make we will make uh five stitches one two, three, four, and five. And we're now back to the beginning of our repeat. So off we go again with the third leaf of that group. 
and continue. Let me just do that. Next one along, make sure I'm not double working it. Third leaf of that group. So we have completed a full um, repeat and this is what I've got. I've got this first leaf attached. I've got the center little uh, group attached. I've got the three, in fact, I should have two. We've got the two leaves attached and my repeat begins again here. Okay, so that is how you're going to attach all of those. I'll go around and attach it. Um, and when I do, this is what we're left with. Ta-da. All right, we have no more rounds to put onto um, Evelyn once we've done that joining round. This looks much flatter and nicer, doesn't it? And you know why? It's because it's been blocked. So... That's what you're aiming for once everything is joined. We've just worked the repeat on there, so I'm hoping that will be sufficient to get you round and finish this really beautiful block.